Hello, in this video we are reading. Women who are in relationships. What small considerate things did you so do that you will remember forever? Please consider subscribing if you like the video. He found a post I made where I was talking about how much I hated doing the laundry, without saying anything to me. He started doing the laundry for us both. It seems silly and small, but he takes care of folding and hanging his clothes, and he folds mine for me, but leaves them out. Because the way I organize my drawers confounds him. Now when he doesn't get a chance to, I do it and it makes him feel good too. Just this week I was sick. Like couldn't get up and do much. He would come in, push the hair off my forehead and see if I still felt like I had a fever. Then sit on the edge of the bed and rub my head for a while. And before he left the room, kiss my forehead. He's done it before over our 17 years of marriage. But it was a good reminder of how sweet he is, especially when I'm feeling like literal trash. He always thanks me for cooking, whether it's a full dinner, quick breakfast, heating up some water for instant ramen, no matter what he kisses me and says thanks babe, that was really good. Acts of service is my love language, so I'm happy to do it, and his appreciation gives me the warm fuzzies. I'm not going to lie, everything my husband does is something I always remember. Random foot and back massages, kisses on the cheek and forehead. When I tell him I'm craving something at 11pm that's 30 minutes away and we both get ready and go, how he carries me down and up the stairs cause I have horrible knee pain. How he randomly pops his head wherever I am at and ask babe, you good, need anything. And how when I am having random meltdowns he puts me in his arms and just hugs me. He saved me from my thoughts and I always let him know that. We were studying abroad and had only been together for 7 months. We had been eating out on a student budget. So we mainly had crepes and croissants in Paris since they're cheap. We went on a day trip to Versailles with our class, and had a free afternoon to do whatever. We decided to splurge at the restaurant within Versailles itself. With my limited French, I ordered the salmon as I was craving a warm home cooked meal and figured this was the closest thing I would get. My, now husband, then boyfriend, ordered the steak. Well, our plates came out, and mine was 100% cold and raw. Think lox or nova, but not salty with dill. He saw the disappointed look on my face and kept telling me over and over how he just loved salmon like that and how my plate looked so good we just had to switch. I then proceeded to eat one of the best steaks of my life. It was only on the next day at breakfast that he admitted he absolutely despised raw fish and that he kept cutting and pushing his food around to make it seem like he ate some of it. He just couldn't get past my look of exasperation and sadness at not having a warm and hearty meal for the first time in weeks that he had to trade plates with me no matter what. He wouldn't have even told me about his chivalrous move if I hadn't kept pressing him on it at breakfast. He filled his plate with so much food since he was absolutely famished. He's a keeper and I'll never forget feeling so much love for him at that exact moment. We had a box of goldfish crackers that were mixed. Regular goldfish and pretzel goldfish. I didn't like the pretzel ones so I kept picking out the regular ones and leaving the pretzel ones. I grabbed my box of goldfish two nights ago and I'm like wow. Every time I reach and I only get the regular ones. This is my lucky night. Turns out he dumped out the whole box and put the pretzel ones in a separate bag so I wouldn't have to keep picking through them and then he put the box back and didn't say anything so I would get excited every time I got a regular goldfish. It's a little thing, but it just shows how thoughtful he is and it made my night as I just thought I was the luckiest person that night. My period has never been regular, but I can normally tell when it is going to arrive based on certain signs. However this time, there was nothing, no cramping. No craving, no mood swings, nothing, and it showed up a week early in the middle of my English class, and it was not an easy start. So I text my husband while my 6th graders are doing a worksheet. There's nothing in my purse, I'm wearing a nice dress, and I have no break until 2 hours later. I just don't know what to do. So my husband rearranges his day, moves his meetings, gets someone to cover his class, drives home, gets me tampons and pads. He didn't know which I needed, clean underwear, and a change of clothes. He also stopped by McDonald's, because I always want french fries when my period starts and slipped some chocolate in the bag he brought me, all without me asking or hinting that I wanted him to do any of that. I was just looking for a listening ear when my day turned bad, and instead he turned the entire day around. He's always my hero. 
wake me up with coffee in the mornings. It's so small, but it's truly one of my favorite things ever. So many little things. I felt at the beginning that he was almost studying me to know what I liked or not and then would do anything he could to make me happy. He knows what kind of music I like, and regularly updates the Spotify playlist for me. We met while I was traveling and he showed me around his city. He noticed that I loved the street art, and now whenever he sees cool murals he sends me pics. Coming up on 5 years later, he has traveled a lot during our relationship we were long distance for quite a while, and every new city he goes to, he sends me a postcard, which I cherish. When we are apart he takes pictures everywhere he goes to share his day with me. Cool buildings, funny storefront displays, people wearing my favorite color, kids being funny, what he ate at dinner, etc. He takes care of every little thing that I don't like to do, with no complaints. Taking out the garbage, making the bed, vacuuming. His work is much more flexible, variable hours than mine, which means he usually doesn't have to get up when I do. But almost every morning, while I'm running around getting ready, he gets up and makes my coffee, breakfast, and gathers my lunch stuff. If I mention I have a headache he'll come and squeeze my head to give me relief. The list goes on and on. He is the most caring and considerate person that I've ever met. I have endometriosis and it causes some depression. One day, I was crying sitting on the floor and felt like I couldn't get up. He said he knew what to do and left the room. He came back with pillows and blankets and covered me up and cuddled me on the floor. We get married this year. We both are students. Last summer he worked in the holidays in a city, with the car about 5 hours away. He stayed in the city overall for 4 weeks. After 3 weeks, I decided I want to surprise him and visit him on the following weekend. A few days before this weekend I wrote his sister. He stayed with her in the city to inform her that I would come. Then I booked the train ticket and just a few hours after the booking, my boyfriend wrote my mum. I live with her. If he could come this weekend to our place to surprise me. My mum told me and we decided that my mum should write him that he can't come BC we have a family meeting or something. So, on the weekend I traveled to him and surprised him. It was wonderful. I freaking love the idea that we both wanted to surprise each other on the exact same weekend. And this just after 3 weeks where we didn't see each other. We just missed each other so much. My late husband used to bring me a cup of coffee every morning if I was still in bed. And he'd give me a kiss and tell me he loved me. I miss that. I am very coffee dependent. The coffee maker is on a timer every morning and the smell of it is what makes me get out of bed. My husband has never drank coffee, much less made it. Last year we did a two week road trip across the US in our vehicle with a rooftop tent. So no automatic coffee pot to wake me up. He bought a french press and got up every morning of that trip to make me a cup of coffee, climbed up the ladder with it, and woke me up to my beautiful coffee mug of perfect coffee. We went to the movies, bought popcorn and salted it ourselves with the popcorn salt, comes out super fast. We put way too much on, I couldn't even eat it, because it was so salty it hurt my mouth. He ate the first layers of horribly salty popcorn so I could eat the rest, that tasted fine. I almost started crying in the theater when he gave the bag to me and said I ate the top popcorn so you didn't have to. We were out for dinner after I had got off work for the night and I had left my chapstick in the store which meant I couldn't get it until the next day. I pulled everything out of my pockets before muttering about leaving my chapstick behind. Without saying anything, still looking at the menu, he pulled his chapstick out and slid it across the table. Literally just typing that made me smile. My so is the sweetest human man ever to walk this earth. One of the first little considerate things I noticed early in our relationship was that he would get out of the shower first and get me a hot towel from the dryer so I wouldn't be cold. I get cold very easily and felt super loved every time. I've been journaling since I was a teen and I keep my journals when I finish them. This Christmas he got me a leather bound journal with a cute personal message inscribed on the front. It has little booklets inside I can remove and add more booklets when I want. It also has little compartments to hold things in. Now I have a journal I can use for life and it was the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. There are countless other things he has done that I'll never forget. But this one was by far the best and most thoughtful. During cancer treatment, I was on meds that made me sleep a lot. I usually would pass out after an exhausting day at work and sleep until my stomach woke me up. 
He would stroke my head until I woke up and ask if I was okay and if I was able to get up and eat something. I was having a bad day at work. I work as a server at a restaurant. I have shoulder issues and I overworked myself. I texted my husband about it and he said I'll have to draw a bath for you. Let me know when you leave work. But he did way more than that. The minute I walked into the house he took my bag for me and walked me over to the bathroom. There was a candle lit, a glass of wine, water and the Alexa thingy was in there. I was confused about that. Then he said Alexa play he had a trick to play our wedding song. I almost cried. It was so sweet. Then he went and started dinner for me, and made sure I didn't get up, but stayed on the couch after my bath. I love this man so much and my love continues to grow for him. He is such a sweetie and my very best friend. One time my ex cleaned out my bathtub drain without me asking for help, and he did it without gloves. I basically cried when I found out, then maybe six months later he cleaned out my Roomba's bristles. We've only been together for a few months, but when Christmas rolled around he got really excited about getting me a gift. It shipped a little late so he planned to pick it up and give it to me when we celebrated New Year's at my apartment. As he was leaving, he texted and said the package was somehow damaged. When he went to pick it up, they didn't even have it. They lost it. He was pretty bummed about it. He wouldn't tell me what it was at first. But after some prodding, he finally let it slip. He wanted to get me those gloves with the little pads on them that let you use touch screens. I work the drive through at the Taco Bell in my town and tend to complain a lot about being cold. There have been multiple nights where I can't even feel my hands. He said he wanted me to stay warm while I was at work. It seems really insignificant, but it made me feel all mushy for days. He was so bummed about them getting lost. It was so pure and really made me feel like he genuinely cared and listened. My ex-fiancé just didn't treat me very well in lots of little ways. For example, he used to set his alarm for 7.05 when mine was set for 7 o'clock and he denied it. But I think it was so I would always make the coffee every morning, because that was always the first thing either of us did when we got up. A couple months into my relationship with my now fiancé, I stayed over at his place and woke up to him bringing me coffee in bed. Even though he didn't even really like coffee, he just knew I did. I don't think I'll ever forget that moment. I will never forget when we were in Disney Tokyo. We ordered ice creams and were given tiny spoons to eat it with. I dropped mine on the floor when we were walking. He picked it up and switched his spoon with mine and used the one that fell on the floor. Literally the smallest thing ever, because he has done so much. But tiny things like this stick to me. In the winter he runs out to turn my car and heater on in the morning, and scrape off any ice. Love him. Please subscribe if you like the video, it really helps the channel to grow.